Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. Uh, we're here today to talk about a popular subject that we keep getting questions about, um, is which tungsten to choose. So there's a lot of variables that go into play with that. And we've had a lot of questions over the last couple of years about this and been not skeptical to answer it because there's a lot, there's a lot of things that are involved with tungsten or choosing the proper tungsten. So right here today we got we got four of the popular tungstens that are chosen every day. So we got pure, which is green. We got thoriated, which is red. We got seriated, which is gray. And we got 2% lanthanated, which is blue. So I should note that that is 2% thoriated too. Um, so 2% thoriated, 2% lanthanated. Those are popular choices um, amongst a lot of TIG welders. So with the new inverter technology everything's going to an inverter uh, the old style synchroids were transformers the old style precision to transformers those styles so they would run a they would recommend a green tungsten and that has no emission enhancing oxide which is an emission enhancing oxide is either thorium cerium or lanthanum so this has nothing it's just pure tungsten and for years this was popular ball it and run it on AC. It welded great on those old transformer style machines. Today, everybody's jumping into the inverter technology. So inverter technology, it is also recommended to run a tungsten with an emission enhancing technology or, th or with an emission enhancing oxide. So that, that includes thorium, cerium, and lanthanum. So what those do, they're, they're an oxide that's added to tungsten they reduce grain growth due to reducing the temperature that the tungsten's at and it also increases or decreases your arc start and welding capability so to put that into layman's terms here one's going to start better than the other one and one's going to have more longevity than the other so it depends on what you want to do and we're going to attach the article that i got this from um, it's from our, our friends over at Diamond Ground Products. They make some great stuff. They make tungsten grinders. They're awesome. Um, all their tungsten products are awesome. They always come in. Um, they're very nice packaged, uh, and I nev never had any trouble with any of their products. So we're going to link this article below. Um, it gets in a lot bit more depth than what we're going. So technically, on, on your tungsten scale, and we're going to just lay them out here in my hand. So easiest to start according to the article would be your lanthanated tungsten next would be your thoriated tungsten and then the hardest to start is your serrated tungsten now when i say harder to start it's just the art characteristic at the start um is the weldability with each one of them different it is and i'll tell you it's it's very minute you'd have to do some testing on your own to find out what those are. Generally though, we see a lot of lanthanated in 2% being sold for stainless jobs, um, low amperage uh, feel, low amperage settings. So people below 100 amps, they're usually running lanthanated on either stainless, aluminum, or steel. The thorated tungsten, we see a lot of people uh, running that for steel. And, and it will also do AC. The AC output on that is a little bit different, um, but we see a lot of it for steel. And then your serrated tungsten, that's just a good all around AC, DC, um, aluminum steel, stainless steel. But remember, harder to start. Now, as far as longevity, now according to, on these charts here, longevity wise, I'll rank these again in longevity. So thorated being one of the easier ones to start doesn't last the longest it has a lower lifespan next up is lanthanum or the lanthanated tungsten and then the longest life is the serrated tungsten so how that works is the emission enhanced oxide that's added to that so being cerium added to this it lowers the temperature at the tip so therefore it slows grain growth in the tungsten and creates a longer life for that tungsten um, Whereas thorium, it doesn't, it, it, it's still a high temperature, don't get me wrong by me saying this, but it's just not going to last as long as a serrated tungsten. So you can get a better arc start and a smoother weld, or you can go with a 
you know, rough for arc start, not necessarily rough, but harder to start the arc and a longevity tungsten. That's why we see this one being thrown into a lot of uh, fields, the serrated tungsten, because it, it does last longer. And let's be honest, I mean, the arc start is actually on your unit. So it depends on what welder you're using, um, techniques, that different thing. So it, that's in a nutshell, that's what the, that oxide is being added to the tungsten to help the longevity and the arc start of that tungsten. Um, Cause remember pier, if we were just to run pier on steel and on anything else, it, it, it just doesn't hold up and it won't hold up over time. So they found that adding this oxide to the tungsten. Like I said though, we're gonna link this article below I hope this helps with your uh, uh, your choice in tungsten. There's so many out there. Uh, I mean, you got Weldcraft, Anchor, Diamond Ground products. There's so many choices. And what I would say is read this article and maybe try out some of their tungstens, different styles. And if you have a specific application that you think one would work out, give it a shot. I mean, it's always worth a try. Um, and uh, let's, let's try and weld with some of these. We'll go from there. All right, so we got the we got some serrated tungsten in there, two percent serrated. We're gonna give this a shot. Um, it's eighth inch tungsten. Uh, it came standard in a pack. Um, it's just a good all-around tungsten, and like I said, longevity's there. Um, and usually the arc start is uh, is there. It's it's all pretty good. So let's give this thing a shot. Here. Too bad. Well, it's really pretty nice. I mean, all in all, the, 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 the tungsten, choosing the proper tungsten, it boils down to a lot of variables. So what amperage you're going to run, what sort of uh, material that you're going to weld, that kind of thing, it, it, uh, and the thickness of material too, what you want to do with all the items that you, you got to kind of collimate all your information and then choose from there. Now, I would say though, it's going to take test trialing some tungsten. So don't be afraid to buy it. Um, I mean, you're always gonna use it if you prefer one over the other one. You know what I mean? You're, you're always gonna use the tungsten. So it's technically a non-consumable electrode, but we all know that we, we dip the tungsten, we mess it up, it cracks, and that kind of thing. So it just, it, it depends on what you're doing. So uh, read that article that we attach below. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you got any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'll try our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching.